Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel once again. Welcome to this fun little unboxing video. I got some cool pieces of gear that I want to unbox with you. Not an amplifier this time, not a single pedal, but something else pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy these things. There's two boxes. This is the first box. And I think that you guys are also going to find these items interesting for videos and I'll explain why. First, let's open this first box up and let's see what's inside. Guitar related, of course. It's an item. It's a device that produces guitar tones, and guitar sounds. And spoiler, these items are not expensive. So they are kind of affordable, which is why they're interesting. It's like affordable pieces of gear that I want to make that I want to, you know, get good tones out of to show you guys how good they can sound for my style. So heavy rock, metal, and all that good stuff. Primarily high gain stuff, probably. So the first item that we have here, it's a box inside of a box. And we have the Nux New X and New X. Trident. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of that the name of that company, but uh, the product itself is called the Trident. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's like an affordable amp modeler slash effects multi effect unit, and it's very tactile. It has a lot of controls and stuff, so you can really go in and tweak the controls with your hands. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's take this thing out of the packaging and see how it looks. The packaging is pretty nice, I must say. I like it when they have these sort of slip covers over the boxes. Looks pretty classy. Cool stuff. Oh, and the box says uh, 1024 1, sample IR resolution, so it loads IRs, which is always very welcome, especially nowadays. 60 second looper, 96 presets, 10 blocks, Trident computer software. Really cool stuff. Looks really nice. Uh, yeah, it comes with an adapter, cables, and all that good stuff. And you can hook it up in various ways to your computer, to the PA, to your amplifier, and whatnot. Very cool. Yeah, and of course, you can load in 27 built... Oh, sorry. There are 27 built-in cabinets, but you can also load your own IRs. It's intuitive, world-class amp modeling, which is my main interest here. I want to see if I can make this thing sound awesome and professional in a mix and outside of a mix probably a uh, looper which i don't really care about powerful studio device as you can also use it as a usb interface and do reamping which is also very cool and plenty of ins and outs nice i must say that the packaging is quite sleek indeed cool We've got these things. I assume that you can put these on your switches or something. These orange things. I'm not sure. And a USB cable. Very nice. I guess in here we've got the power supply, which is important. Another cable. Cool, cool. I think this is a MIDI cable that converts mini jack to standard MIDI, if I'm correct. Pretty nice. And an adapter. Very cool. Now let's look at the main unit here, the Trident. Oh, it has good weight. Very nice. It's a cool looking thing. It's pretty compact too. It was It's smaller than I was expecting, to be honest. So yeah, I'm quite curious about this thing. Um, it's supposed to sound really good, so we're going to find that out soon. On the back we've got an expression pedal input input, send and return, aux in, master volume, XLR outs, which is cool, output one, output two, phones output, MIDI output, MIDI input, USB, nine volt, power switch, very nice. And then on top here, we have various controls for various effects. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll grab my camera so you guys can see, my phone camera, so you guys can see how this thing looks up close. All right, so this is the unit up close, very cool. So over here on the top left, we've got controls for the delay and reverb. 
So you can really go in and tweak the controls with your hands. Modulation effects, and then the amp controls, and various switches for switching things on and off. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, and this screen over here is supposed to be pretty uh, simple and generic, so not really beautiful graphics or anything like that. But when you plug this thing into your computer, you can do a whole lot, like change the signal flow and go into the amps. And I think you can even change like the bias of the amplifiers and stuff like that. And here, another look at the back of the unit. So it's a pretty cool looking thing. Nice. Okay, so that is the new X Trident. It looks cool and I'm excited to try it out soon. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me do with this thing. But I'm gonna keep it simple. I just wanna see if this thing can sound great for rock and metal tones. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna unpack the second box, which isn't all that different from this product, funnily enough. And that wasn't really intentional. I wasn't really planning on getting both these devices at the same time. But I reached out to both companies because I was simply interested in their products. I wanted to see how they sound and stuff. And uh, so I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send me these devices, but I didn't know that I was gonna get them on the exact same day. So the next one doesn't have a plain box around it. It's just, uh, it came in in the product box. So spoiler, spoiler, you're gonna see what it is immediately. And of course I'm talking about the Boss ME90, which is pretty cool. Uh, for me, I was really interested in this thing for nostalgic reasons. One, because when I was in music college, when I was whew, 18 years, 19 years old in 2004, I had the ME50, I believe it was the blue one. And that was like my main unit for doing all my tones and stuff. And I really enjoyed working with that thing. It sounded pretty good. And uh, this is like a couple series after that. And uh, the effects obviously are great. It's boss. But the amp modeling on here is supposed to be much better as well. So I'm really interested in that primarily. Uh, and you can even load your impulse responses into this thing. And it's a pretty affordable device as well as the other one. So it's going to be interesting to see how this sounds and how it performs in a mix. I just want to see if you can get some really good tones, really professional tones out of these affordable units. And I think when it comes to the boss, when it comes to the effects, this thing is going to be great. No doubt about it. But I'm really interested in the the preamp modeling and in loading the IRs and stuff like that primarily, which is also gonna be my focus. So I'm gonna open this thing up and then take a look. So this thing is pretty nuts. It even runs on batteries. And I think that you can run this thing on nine volts, which is really cool as well. So I think it doesn't come with a power supply. I'm gonna just take it out of the box. So the pedal didn't come with a power supply, so that's pretty interesting. We're gonna take a look at the back in a second. But if it's nine volts, it should be just fine for everybody, basically. It came with some batteries and this uh, pack of paper stuff. Cool, it looks really cool. It's a bit bigger than the new X Trident. Um, I like it, I like it. Weight feels good too, it feels very sturdy. I like how it looks. So I'm gonna grab my phone once again, and then we're gonna take a closer look. All right, so over here we have the ME90 up close with an expression pedal, which is always nice, with a bunch of whammy, wah effects and stuff like that. And you can change the delay level, mod rate, and all that stuff with the uh, with the expression pedal. A bunch of switches to control various things. And then over here we have the preamp with a bunch of amp models. I'm interested in the high gain ones, of course, should be fun to explore those. And it's just really cool and pretty crazy that a Boss ME device lets you load impulse responses. We've come pretty far, don't you think? These days, most modelers and stuff are capable of loading impulse responses, and that is great, and that's essential because it allows you to make the tones in your device your own, if you know what I mean. So that's really cool. All right, let's take a quick look at the effects. Compressor, FX1, touch waz and stuff like that. Really cool, nice, Octaver. 
uh, overdrives and boosts and fuzz, modulation effects, and pitch as well. Nice, nice. Looks cool. Delay effects. Uh, reverb is up here. FX2 and EQ. All right. Yeah, so uh, that's that. I think when you hook it up to your computer, of course, you can edit everything. But I think that you can also replace some effects here and there. So uh, certain effects can be replaced with others, but I'm not really, I don't know the details on that. Now, let's take a look at the, the back. Okay, so here's the back, the Boss AIRD technology, input, outputs, no XLRs. Uh, you can set this to guitar amp or line. Um, so when you set it to line, you get your cab IRs or the built-in cab models, headphones, send and return, uh, optional adapter. Okay. Oh, that's for your Bluetooth. Then USB power and C use boss PSA adapter only. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into that because I don't know if I have that to be honest. So anyway, cool device. So that's the Boss ME90 and of course the new X Trident. Cool devices that I'm gonna explore on the channel soon. And again, let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me do with these things. I'm pretty excited. I think these things are a lot of fun. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe down below and let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on these products. And of course you can also follow us on so, uh, and of course you can also follow us on Address Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.